and I've kind of got my brush, I'm holding it actually um, vertical at this point. Now, when you want to get down to the little wispy branches, you're going to turn that brush sideways. See how it's going sideways? And I'm actually bringing that down. And if there's anything, just like on cake decorating, if there's a boo-boo or something there you don't like, stick a piece of moss there. Okay. And then as we paint this cake, you'll just see as we get on there that, and I just want to show you on this vellum too, because most people are just freaked out when I start on the cake. They just, I had a little lady in class, um, I was teaching in Florida, and I looked up and this woman was crying, and I went over to her and I said, are you okay? And she said, I don't know why I'm sitting here, I don't know why I thought I could do this, I was trying to think of a graceful way to tell you I want out. And I looked at her and I said, you know what, sweetie, I said, if I will, if you stay in class, if you are still as unhappy about what you've done at the end of class, I will refund your money back. Well, at the end of the class, I look up and she's crying again. I thought, oh, now what? And I went over to her and she had the most beautiful cake in the class. She said, I, I, I'm just overwhelmed. So, you know, to bring that kind of joy, and I know what it was like because I felt the same way when I finally broke through with this. And it's like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I am not a painter. I am just not. I've just learned technique is all and practiced. Okay, now we're going to go back through with that again. And as you can see, this birdhouse is not like that birdhouse. And maybe I want to add a little bit more of the green here. They're never, ever going to be exactly the same. And again, we'll add the wisteria. See, that looks a little bit more balanced now. Look like it's a little top heavy. But all birdhouses are different. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and put the moss that's winding up that pole. The little vine, moss vine or ivy vine whatever you want to call it. Out in Arizona, we don't have much foliage, so I have to look in books for this. Okay, and you're just going to wind it on up. And see how I'm using the edge of this? Pretty cool. And if I want more color, I'm just going to go in here and pick up some more green. Okay. So we basically got our little birdhouse in place. Now, for the wisteria, what I would do is I would go ahead and clean this out. And again, using the same brush, I'm just going to pick up some of the, um, this is violet in the gel. And I shake everything up. I'm just leery of color because of all the pigments and everything in them. Better safe than sorry. Okay, just a little bit. Now, if you look at my, pay, my plate, I'm not painting my plate, I'm painting this, so there's not a whole lot on there. Okay, again, I'm going to spread my bristles out and kind of dry those out on the paper towel. And I'm going to go ahead and pick paint upon this same way. Some violet and some white. Okay, and that seems a little bit heavy to me. Now, if it's really muddy, the, the probability is your paintbrush is too wet, so you may have to go back through, especially when you change colors on these, and add a little bit more in. Now, if you look at this, um, we've got wisteria just kind of dripping on spots. So we'll go ahead and start here. And wisteria is like bulbous at the top and it kind of comes down at the bottom. Is this not cool? And I can't wait to, as instructors, we want to see and know and hear from the students that you've tried this and any questions. Um, please feel free to email us, and I, I promise I will get back to you. Um, but if you have any challenges, we have a 9-100 WAH hotline you can call to. But this is pretty, uh, pretty darn easy, actually. Okay. Yeah, we'll put some wisteria down here. And we'll add some in here. Okay.